today is Friday and that marks about a week since I handed in my last assignment and that I've been completely done with university. I'm still waiting on my final grades, but technically I'm done my degree, but my convocation was supposed to be in June and it got moved back to November. So I'm feeling some anxiety about whether or not I'm going to graduate. I've also just been feeling pretty stressed and anxious lately just about what the future is going to look like. Sometimes I kind of catch myself thinking in a spiral just about where I'm gonna be and what I'm gonna be doing after graduation. And even graduation is up in the air now. Whenever I'm thinking in those patterns, I can literally feel my heartbeat racing. I forget to breathe. I basically just get really bad anxiety. So I'm trying to manage that by finding peace in the moment, which I also think is really hard right now because since I'm not in school anymore, I don't have the same structure in my life as I used to. So I've been trying to find ways to add structure and also to add purpose into my daily routine. Um, it's been really tough, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like it's taking a lot more self-awareness and work to maintain the same level of mental health that I'm used to. So I'm just trying my best to take care of myself right now. So that's why I decided to stay in bed today. Well, that's not the only reason why. I'm also waiting for some bananas to thaw out. I am finally falling prey to the banana bread trend because we do have a few bananas that have gone off and they're completely black so i froze those last week and now i'm thawing them out so i'm gonna make some banana muffins i'm gonna do some dark chocolate chunks instead of chocolate chips and i think they're gonna be so good that's one of the ways that i feel like i've been finding peace my favorite part about baking is sharing it with others but there's still about an hour before those bananas are completely thawed so in the meantime something else that you know brings me a lot of comfort is reading i'm currently reading the priory of the orange tree which <sighs> this book is exactly the kind of escapism that i needed so i am thoroughly invested in the story and the characters at this point so I'm very looking forward to doing some more reading. In today's vlog, I'm just going to take you through my day as I try to do things that bring me joy. I'm going to go read now and I will check back in with you once my bananas are all thawed out. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times So I know my way around Don't stop looking
<laughs> good, good. Mm. <laughs> I've just been laying on the couch. I had some of those banana bread muffins, which are so good. I made them with dark chocolate chunks and they're just ah, chef's kiss, but they're super filling. So I kind of feel like I'm in a food coma. I don't really want to move around, but it is the late afternoon and this is usually when I feel the most unproductive and just the most sluggish. So I think I'm going to go for a walk, even though I don't really want to. It's such a beautiful day and I know that going on this walk will make me feel a lot better. So I'm going to put my headphones on, listen to a podcast and go on a walk before dinner. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Been trying to get all of you all night. We haven't talked in months, but that's alright. Was wondering if you wanted to go for a drive. I just need some fresh air and an old friend. I'm so glad that we started talking again. Yo, turn up the radio. I love this song. Remember when we used to stay up all night long? How's it been going? No, oh, how's it, mom? The roads are so empty, this is so damn calm. If we stick on the highway, we can drive all night long. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive. Hello, everyone. It is freshly showered Hannah now speaking to you. I have to admit that one of my most expensive material comforts is good skincare. For the past month, I've kind of been neglecting my skincare. I just picked up some things from the drugstore, which were natural products, but I truly noticed such a big difference when I use drugstore products versus higher-end skincare items. And I just, I couldn't take it anymore. So today I went home and I picked up my essential skincare items, which I should have done a lot earlier because I have noticed that the drugstore products I've been using have been like clogging up my pores. And I just decided I deserve to take time to treat myself nice. So I brought my eye cream from home Oh, I haven't put on eye cream in so long and to be honest, I'm not sure that eye cream really does much for me I don't deal with too many fine lines But it's just it's such a nice little extra touch of luxury. I also brought my favorite moisturizer This is honestly what I live by. Oh my god. I have missed this Oh, it feels like I'm at the spa again. It's just so calming I am in heaven. I'm honestly really looking forward to kind of getting back into my normal skincare routine because I feel like my skin has just been reacting to the drugstore products I've been using and I'm really excited to get my skin back to its normal condition. I'm feeling really refreshed right now. I think I'm going to make a dinner in a little bit. I'm going to be making some sweet potato black bean bowls. They're going to be very healthy, filled with lots of nutritious ingredients. So I'm really excited to make a nutritious meal for tonight. But yes, I'm feeling so clean and so refreshed. Oh, love that. <laughs> I should have kissed you then. Your hair was longer. I pulled away from it and moved to the city over the Tennessee Bridge. You like the colors, I can't see anything.
Hello everyone and welcome to another morning. I got dressed for the sole purpose of going out today and getting a coffee. This is what is left of my iced Vietnamese latte. It was delightful. I wore this cute little sundress. I feel like in yesterday's clips, I was definitely struggling a little bit just with my mental health. I'm feeling a lot more hopeful today. I think that being mindful about how I was feeling and taking those steps to really address those feelings that I was having was really helpful. I woke up feeling really hopeful I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for clicking into today's video and for the rest of today I am gonna keep doing the things that make me happy and that bring me joy. I'm going to choose to view this time of not having any major responsibilities as a gift to focus on myself and to reflect on what I want what I can contribute to the world and what brings me a sense of fulfillment. I'm gonna spend some quality time with my loved ones and I think it's going to be really nice. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video. And even though it's still uncertain and it's still really scary, I'm feeling more hopeful and excited to see what the future brings. You want that glimmer, I should have told you that. Now more than ever, the broken pieces fit, scars and confetti.